Okay, I'm going to call this the Bonzo President, <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Now keep in mind that Ronald Reagan held a great deal of respect in uh, America during the 80s with his two terms of office, and he seemed to do extremely well. A lot of that would be because he was great with the camera. Remember, he was trained as an actor. So there you are, you have an actor playing president. But I'm going to call him the Bonzo president, mostly because of his affiliation with one of his stars in his earlier movies, Bonzo. Now most folks believe in chimpanzees. By the way, there's your dualism. There's your male and female. Actually, it's the reverse. This is the male and that's the female. But for the sake of the audience, we'll say Ronald Reagan's a male. And this is a female. And these two poles, these two uh, electrical flowing currents, so to speak, are brought together by Bonzo, the chimp. At least you think it's a chimp. It's a deception. Okay, the, the chimpanzee here is a deception because chimpanzees do not exist. There we are again with the same imagery, the male and the female brought together by the chimpanzee. Now once again, the, with the law of reversals, and I'll try to do a video on that, here's the male and there's the female. And what brings them together is magic or sorcery or witchcraft, the chimpanzee. Chimpanzees are not real. I'm going to get to that next. So if Ronald Reagan had as one of his big stars a chimpanzee, which do not exist, uh, what do you think about his presidency? Oh, I know. You'll list all the things that he did that were good and helpful and the prosperity and everything like that. And many people do buy into the system. And I certainly was one of them once upon a time, but I am not anymore. So what I want to do is now take you to a video that I actually made for another channel. And the title of this other channel is um, Plato's Cave Revisited. Plato's Cave Revisited. So if you want to go over there, there's not too much there. I haven't really developed it. And I'm busy working on this one. But this is a clip I made a while back. And it is, it's entitled Chimps Are Fake. Okay? So we're going to go to that and let you see what I did from an episode of the Beverly Hillbillies. And what I'm doing here, uh, you're joining this in the middle of my, of my work, and uh, what you're going to see here right now is a clip from a television episode where Jethro tries to get, uh, become a big movie star. And they find out that the big movie star that's teaching him is kind of not, not a good teacher. Now I put it in reverse. So they're going to be coming out. I mean, uh, just watch it. It's in reverse. Here comes the ladies. The ladies are basically just men dressed as ladies, as we've been fooled over and over again in television shows and movies. It's the reverse a chimp. of what you think. Now watch the chimp. There you are. You see the exposure? And did you notice that what you saw was a costume? Okay, now we're going to put it in forward motion and watch the chimpanzee or the fake chimp come out. And when he does the half flip, you will see that there's supposedly fur just on his buttocks area, but the back area has been exposed and it's just simply a costume. There is no fur present. Now it goes in forward motion, slow motion. 
Now the way this stunt is done, that the, the one in the chimpanzee suit is actually walking on his hand. If you look very closely, uh, his feet are in the air and the, the child or the midget is actually walking on their hands. So look very closely and you will see that those are hands that are coming out. There's another thing that you may not realize that there are ropes that are attached. Uh, the ropes seem to be invisible and they may have been back in those days something like a Photoshop program to Photoshop them out. They appear to be something like a clear uh, plastic or almost like the tubing on, a, on, a, on an aquarium, a fish aquarium, and the light will pass through it. So if you look very carefully, you will see that some type of roping, which is clear, uh, is being used to aid in the stunt. Now, the chimp will do a like a half of a flip, not completely, but remember, the one in the, in the chimpanzee suit is actually walking on his or her hands. So I'm taking it out very slowly for you to see. Can you see the rope there? Now watch the hand will come out of the suit. There it is, you see the hand coming out of the suit, it's very clear right there. Now, there's not a complete and total flip, it's just like a half of a flip, and again, the one in the suit is being aided by uh, some type of roping around the hands of the two so-called ladies, and there is a lady directly behind the fake chimp, also aiding in the stunt. Now watch as the monkey or the chimpanzee uh, begins to flip. You will see the buttocks area exposed. There's the hand. And there's fake fur on the buttocks. But where is the fur on the back? Take a look. It's just a costume. It's just a costume. Now he goes into the upright position and back down. You can see the rope there dangling a little bit. Some of it has been airbrushed out and you can only see this if you take it like one or two frames at a time. But what you think is an actual living animal is really just either a midget or a child in a suit. I think you can see the ropes down there at the bottom too. And if you look closely between the two ladies, you'll see a little bit of a rope. Now remember, that was done with the person in the suit walking on their hands. Now this shot, all the ropes are gone and everything, so it is shot uh, Notice that the third person is not directly behind the chimp, as was in when the stunt was done. So it's spliced in. So there you have it. And what I'll do is I'll put it in reverse and let you watch it one more time at full speed. Okay, we're going in reverse. And you can watch it at full speed. And remember, there's just an actor in that suit trying to fool you to make you think chimpanzees are real. So this is the regular speed at which it was shown. Now I want you to notice Granny is very angry. Okay, now what I want to do is take you to a magazine that I purchased. And I ordinarily don't waste my money on magazines, but I thought it would make a good presentation.
So this is on the American presidents of the United States, and it's uh, it was on the shelf. I do not recommend buying it. I only bought it so that I can do some home reporting here on what we think are just absolutely wonderful people who have led the nation. So back to Mr. Ronnie Reagan, which he's included in here. We go over to his section. Okay, and in the corner over here is that little bonzo <laughs> monkey business. Okay. Monkey business. I know, Ronald Reagan did this and did that. And he was so wonderful. He was so charming. Well, sure, he spent many, many years in front of the camera. Hence his image would be so wonderful because his skills at performing in front of a camera were just absolutely phenomenally great. But you see, in terms of this whole hoax lie system, the individuals that run it are under obligation in their contracts, so to speak, with the devil and the demons and the powers and the principalities, they're under contract to tell people the truth. Because if they don't do that, their powers don't work and they're not very effective. Okay? So, as you purchase a magazine like this right off the shelf, you might begin to wonder why is it that they have this ridiculous photograph of Reagan hugging a chimp and I tried to show you chimps are fake now monkeys are not fake the little creatures monkeys are not fake chimpanzees are fake apes are fake gorillas are fake now why is that well basically those were put in the eyes of the public to substantiate the false theory of Darwin. If you can show how the monkey progressed to chimp, to uh, gorilla, to, to ape, and then to human, maybe somebody will believe this lie. The truth of the matter, the only animal that's real are the little tiny monkeys. Chimps do not exist. Apes do not exist. Gorillas do not exist. But in the minds of the people who abide by the fallen system, these animals exist. So here, what are they doing? They're trying to tell you it was all what? Monkey business. That Ronald Reagan and his whole presidency and his whole existence was about monkey business. Why? Because they were monkeying around with your mind. <laughs> they were monkeying around with your mind. A great image made a, quote, great president. But nevertheless, it was a lie. It was a lie. There it is right there. Why would you put something like that in the magazine? That Ronald Reagan started off with a chimp or a monkey business. 
And look where he is now. Or was, excuse me, I'll put it in the past tense for you. Look where he was. Well, guess where? He was in that place we call the Oval Office. He was in that place where the where the great, supposedly great leaders of our land abide. So let's think about all this right now and let's just go back to this concept of the president. Ronald Reagan was the Bonzo president. Oh, I know. You read all these wonderful things about him and he did this and that that was so wonderful. But don't you see he was part of it he was part of the hoax lie system. Along with, quote, all these wonderful things he did, you have no idea how many lies he substantiated in your mind. Now see, the imagery is before you. Now you have to read it. Because remember, the people that work in the occult or the hoax lie or hidden system communicate by nonverbal. Ronald Reagan is hugging a lie. Ronald Reagan is welcoming a lie. Ronald Reagan is promoting a lie. There's a marriage between Bonzo and Reagan. There's a marriage between a hoax lie system and a president. So don't monkey around anymore with monkey business. <laughs> Just get out of the hoax lie system. Basically, if you participate in any type of politics, you're in the monkey business. Because no matter what you think about your candidate or your party or your views, you're wrong. The whole system is in the hands of the evil one. And they're all liars. Republicans, Democrats, independent parties, the third party or the third candidate. It's all monkey business. Stop monkeying around. Ronald Reagan was the bonzo president. <laughs> all presidents have been bonzo presidents. And I'll try to show you in future videos why all presidents have been deceivers. Every single one of them. No exceptions anywhere. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support and your viewership.